hi everyone so welcome back to another video in this channel uh, if you have not subscribed the channel yet I am just going to ask you to do the subscription already and join the telegram group from the description link in the description you can find other links like uh, my playlist for CSD qualifier my playlist for SQL learning and there is one uh, link that is for joining the channel so you can join so you can join the channel and be a member of the channel those who will be members of the channel will have early access to all my videos and all their queries will be replied in a prioritized way and those topics they will ask me uh, for making a video and all so if those are uh, like a uh, good topic enough or long enough for a discussion or making a video i'm going to make a video about that also so those are the perks you will be getting there are many other perks you can just go and check from the join button or join link i have given in the description so that's it and now let's move on to the today's topic so th by today's topic means there was an exam uh, for csd candidates today and there was also a exam for few batches of students who who joined on 21st september week for some of them there was an exam that is the first uh, qualifier exam or the qualifier assessment they gave the qualifier assessment for the interns were on uh, text stack platform and the questions were similar to those which i have already discussed in the channel with playlist but for csd guys the questions were some different kinds okay so as the uh, their exam was on hacker and platform and the, they are facing some different different type of questions so i have already posted three of them one java and two sql questions if you guys ask me i will post more questions and their solutions as well you can go and check the questions and their solutions already posted in the channel and you can learn them you can share them with those uh, csd students who have their exams on 30th october week and 6th november week so for csd guys who have their exams on hacker rank the patterns of the questions is going to be similar type and for those who are going to have the intense batch like those uh, who have uh, the exams on like 14th October week they are supposed to be onboarding and their exam dates are not revealed yet so th for them the exams will be uh, like previously I mentioned in the previous uh, videos or previous uh, SQL and Java questions I have already given for like tech stack platform so for them the uh, pattern will be different and those who will who are CSD and have online uh, exam on hacker rank platform for those uh, the exam will be different so I have posted uh, both different different types of questions and answer and explanation in the playlist you can regarding today's exam which everyone is asking me so the question patterns and question sets so there was already i have declared or made a video regarding the question exam pattern there were basically four sections so 10 mcq and four questions to java and to sql okay i have already told that so the 10 mcq questions were same for almost everyone okay their numbering were different like they are like order was different but the questions were almost same or similar for everyone but the coding questions were different different for everyone okay so like there were like almost uh, five to six sets uh, as far as i know yet because uh, there were many questions coming in throughout the uh, exam so there was basically it was hard to uh, separate those but there were almost five to six sets and the questions were uh, coming in rearrangements of all those uh, sets for different different uh, people and different different guys if you have uh, any more questions you can just uh, send in the telegram group uh, the link is in the description and I will try to post all the questions I got and their solution and explanations already uh, I have uh, got and I will try to post them in the uh, coming days for and the question level so the question level was not easy question level was from moderate to difficult okay every set there was a question which was very difficult to solve okay but rest of the questions are generally moderate they could be, uh, could be solved uh, if you have tried uh, like if you try a bit they could have been solved but uh, one question was difficult that would take some time or even uh, that might not be get solved uh, in that uh, so those people who have uh, solved all the four questions congratulations to them all the four coding questions so, and you have done a great job by uh, solving all the four coding questions uh, so many people were asking me like i have solved this many question this many mcq this many test case so uh, will i pass or not and when will i get the results so, i'll be coming to that 
so the result you will be getting most probably by this week because they have already mentioned that after the exam within uh, two or three weeks they will be onboarded so the uh, highest chance that you will be getting your result is within coming few days that is mostly by this week by this week i means like by friday or saturday you will give, get it you can even get it within like uh, wednesday also so if you do not get it by wednesday you will get it by this week that much i can predict because like they have uh, said that uh, they have said that they will be onboarding within three weeks okay so they will need time for that as well and aligning you into different batches and all so like let's hope that we will get the exam uh, results by this week now let's move on to the next topic also like during the exam there were many uh, questions many different sets were uh, everyone was sending and all so i have tried to solve the questions i have solved uh, almost three of them and posted uh, um, posted three of them and then the check your solutions and you can check like if you have um, done it correctly or not and like uh, the rest of the questions i got i will try to post and solve them one by one and post them now the main thing like how many questions we need to do for getting a qualifier okay so most half the people are saying that their uh, exam was average or and some people are saying that their exam was uh, excellent and all some people saying their exam was bad so let's uh, take few scenarios and in your all queries will be uh, answered for this uh, if i answer this few scenarios if you have answered all the four codes correctly okay regardless of how you answered all the mcqs you will be passed answering four codes correctly i am saying that all the test cases have been passed okay if you are uh, you have uh, done all the four codes correctly but for every one of them there are few one or two test cases are not passing and all then this scenario is not applied okay there might be a different weightage for different questions as well like there might be different weightage for java different weightage for sql as well and the main thing is that the number of test cases passed is a huge matter because like if uh, you are uh, passing almost 60% of the test cases or 50% of the test cases then you can not get the full marks okay for that particular questions if you uh, if your 50% test cases are passing you will get 50% marks so like if you are all four codes are uh, running or if your all four uh, codes are done but uh, all of them are like 50% test cases are passing 50% are not passing then you will get only 50% marks you can uh, you can understand that you solve only two out of four okay so things we need to consider first is the number of codes we solved second is the number of test cases they passed okay so if someone has completed four codes uh, with all the test cases passed and like even if someone uh, done three codes out all test cases passed and the fourth code which like some uh, few test cases passed and few did not pass they are good to go regardless of their mcq scores okay so if uh, someone had three uh, codes which have uh, all the test cases passed and the fourth code they cannot do okay and they have solved almost uh, like all the mcqs they are also good to go for the, like they will be passed but if you have uh, scored three uh, three if you have solved three codes correctly but you have not cleared all the mcqs you have uh, done some mcqs correctly some not then there will be a doubt for your result because the mcqs marks will be the variable then okay and if you have done two codes also and like uh, for the rest of the two codes you have uh, solved 50% of the test cases or like some of the test cases 60% 70% of the test cases for the other two but for the uh, only two you have 100% uh, test cases passed and the other two you have uh, some test cases passed and you have also done all the mcqs correctly then then you might have also a chance but if you have uh, completed only one code and the other code you have not uh, even completed 50% of their uh, test cases even mcq you have do all the mcqs correct but only one code is 100% passed and the other codes are even not 50% passed then you like there is a no almost no zero chance for you for passing then four codes correctly you will be passed if you have done three codes correctly and like the fourth code is like almost half done and you have done few mcqs then you are passed and if you have you have done only three codes correctly the fourth code you cannot touch but you have all the mcqs correct and all then you will also pass but you have done two codes and you have done all the mcqs then it is very hard for you to pass unless you have done uh, at least few test cases passed for the rest two codes okay so these are all the scenarios i am uh, going to share 
so you can understand and you can compare it with your own uh, your own scenario and you can check the result after few days it will be coming anyway so don't lose hope even if you do not uh, pass or miss the passing marks by few uh, marks then you will be getting a uh, like least prioritized onboarding okay they have said the onboarding will be least prioritized for so many people were asking these also like what will happen when they uh, like if you do not pass what will happen and all so you might get a cis chance as well and you might uh, get the least prioritized onboarding that is like your onboarding will be delayed but uh, they have not said anything regarding revoking and all so, so till now do not get any bad thoughts and all so that's it i'm